friend of mine told me that in Greece it's actually not considered cool to sit somewhere alone or to go to a bar alone like, like oh you don't have anyone who wants to hang out with you it's like boo you know but me I don't care look at this it's amazing and I love to be alone so I don't care what people think So today I want to introduce you to my incredible Papu Costa. He's really, really incredible. He does so many things. He knows to garden. He's an artist. I will show you he does a lot of art. He also writes books and poems. Uh, he cooks. He's just incredible. I'm going to show you all the things that he creates because he's really creative. He's really an artist. He's not my direct papu, he's not my direct grandpa, he's the brother of my grandfather. My grandfather unfortunately passed away and there were five brothers and Papu Costa is one of the five brothers uh, and he's my mom's favorite uncle. Papu Costa, Felis Napiscatis. all this art and then give it away to his family to the neighbors like some neighbors in their balcony they have uh, put a lot of his art and he was telling me some stories that one day someone uh, passed in front um, who was working in an artistic newspaper and he looked at the art and then he asked him if he can 
put him in his newspaper to showcase him as an artist and he said no Papu Costas uh, he didn't want he also writes books and poems and also someone wanted to publish publicize his books and he also said no so if you're a book publisher in Greece uh, get in touch with me he also creates a lot of jewelry He writes a lot, so these are poems, okay? These are fairy tales. This is, this is kind of... Αυτό πώς το λες, ότι είναι πώς ζούσαν ο κόσμος παλιά στο χωριό. Είναι τρόπο ζωή στο χωριό. Yeah, how people used to live in the village. And this is like history, you know, like how people used to live back in the days in the village, in the villages. This is also a fairy tale. So this book, he randomly passed in front of a publishing house and he went inside to ask, like, do you want to read it? Like, what's the value? And they read it and then they called him and they say, yeah, we want to publish it. And at the end, he couldn't be bothered. He didn't follow up, but they wanted to publish this book um, and, and sell it. And these here are short stories, uh, life his life stories uh, but things that he did in the in the village how he grew up um, so like true real real short stories uh, about his life is the sagapis then in your own your own agape maljamena echi rizosis ten kalgia ke tamini ya pantotena osi volgadis kan fisikson katigidis ke fortunes i rizis te sagapis mas poté da da polison ο πόθος μου για σένα ποτέ δεν θα τελειώσει σαν την αστέριχτη πηγή το διψασμένο σου κορμάκι τα ποτέζει. So Papus Costa is giving away all the things he creates like the art and the jewelry. So if you want any of these, uh, get in touch with me. He just gives them away. Απλώς, όταν πιάνω κάτι να φτιάξω και την ώρα έρχεται και το θα φτιάξω. Δεν σκέφτομαι ότι δεν μπορείτε να φτιάξετε κάτι. Ναι. Κανένα άλλο γιατί λίγα έχω. Ναι. Και αυτά που έχω, όποιο το αρέσει, τα δίνει. Τα χαρίζω. Ωραία. Δεν θέλω λεφτά. Θέλω να καλέσω να κάνω δώρο να δώσω χαρά στον κόσμο, στα παιδάκια. Thank you. Thank you.